Yes, dear learner, dear students, good morning. Uh, I don't know what time you will watch, but here it is uh, 7.30 a.m. So I say good morning to you. Uh, one subscriber asked me to continue Hindi, but uh, I know it is easy to learn in mother tongue. My mother tongue also Hindi. But our subject uh, is widespread in English medium and students are more in this medium please excuse me for this application uh, uh, because majority of people all over the world speak and understand English one more uh, request was there yesterday to simply upload a video containing dimensions so for dimension first we know understand fundamental and derived quantities. Physics is basically measurement of science according to road Kelvin. If we can measure the length, breadth, height or mass and other things then we know physics. And if we don't know how to measure mass and time then it means we don't know physics. So basically it's the science of measurement and the, physical, the quantity which we can measure are called physical quantities like force, speed, mass, etc. But what are fundamental or you can say basic basic physical quantities? Now, basic means the basic requirement like if you want to construct building, first of all you need land. Then uh, see any building, it is made up of bricks, cement, iron, wood, etc. Uh, these are fundamental requirement to construct a building. Similarly, in physics, the quantities in terms of which we can study whole physics. I repeat, in physics, the physical quantities, the physical quantity in terms of which of which we can understand whole this Or which the point which cover the total scope of physics are called fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities. These quantities are independent of each other. Now in physics, in physics, there are Seven fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities. These are these are number one. Number one mass. Number two distance. Number three time. There is branch of risk which is called mechanics. In mechanics, we these are the three fundamental quantities in terms of which we can study whole mechanics. But now there are other branches of this like thermodynamic, current electricity, photometry. Then more fundamental quantities are there. Number four. Temperature. Number five. Electric current. Electric current. Number six. Luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. 
and number seven, moon. So these quantities are supposed to be fundamental quantities because uh, every branch of physics can be learned in terms of these quantities and very easy to learn. Uh, mass, distance, time, temperature, current, electricity, electric current are clear to all of students but luminous intensity uh, is trouble for generally most of the students. Light is also a form of energy. Light is also a form of energy but and uh, uh, according to physics energy has one unit joule then why this has been defined that way actually light consists of radiation electromagnetic wave and different wavelengths produce different senses of sight on our eye light is that form of energy which makes us think visible we will learn in class 12 uh, about light wave and in uh, ray optics, wave optics and electromagnetic wave. It will be clear. But uh, uh, you take it granted here that different colors of light produce different sensation of sight. Above ultraviolet radiation, they, we don't get any sensation of sight. And below infrared radius, uh, red color, we don't get the sensation of sight. So, other unit has been defined for luminous intensity is the amount of energy uh, or radiant flux passing through unit solar angle in a particular direction. Actually, photometry chapter has been eliminated, deleted from the syllabus. Uh, but uh, remember, okay, luminous intensity means amount of visible light in you know, the uh, crossing unit solar angle in a particular direction from the source. Mole, I will discuss later on. Mole also confuses many people what is mole. Now, what are derived quantities? Derived quantities are those which can be obtained by multiplication division of two or more fundamental quantities like area. Area is the length into breadth, the fundamental one length or distance has been multiplied. Uh, density, mass upon volume, uh, speed, distance upon time, etc. These are derived quantities. I think there is no need to define derived quantities. There are books you can write. Or you can learn from me that physical quantities which can be obtained by multiplication, division or different operations between them. Now, question of dimensions. So, one thing more here, to understand dimensions, listen first, the fundamental quantities are represented here, mass by capital M, distance or length by capital L, time by capital T, uh, temperature, Temperature. I mean, it is written by capital K. Actually, Kelvin is the unit of temperature, and in some book they write theta only. Current is represented by electric current by capital A. A for ampere hai. And then luminous intensity, luminous intensity. Is denoted by small c, small d. Candela is the unit of intensity. And then moon. Moon simply written by mol. Moon. So these notations are used in dimensions. So what are dimensions? How to define dimension? Which have dimensions? The dimensions 
of derived quantities derived physical derived physical quantities are the powers of fundamental fundamental physical quantities to which they are raised they are raised to obtain the derived quantity the dimensions of derived quantity are the powers uh, of fundamental quantity to which they are raised to obtain that derived quantity simple definition but hardly the definition are asked uh, so for example i say volume volume of a cubic volume it is length into breadth into height for a cubic or r l this is also distance to be right l and this height l so we write here m0 l3 t0 we don't write here all these three because in mechanics these are not used so zero means mass is not there actually a number raised to power zero become one so here i'll say power why a number raised to power become zero one x to power zero is equal to one but why people student say sir it happens no actually you know powers are added when we multiply powers are subtracted when we divide if we divide x by x if we divide x by x the power 1 1 to it is x 0 or a number divided by itself is 1 a number divided by itself is 1 but <laughs> dear student be careful this is not always true if i say 0 divided by 0 0 divided by 0 here is the confusion complete divide me remainder 0 actually when you divide 2 by 2 So we write two one by two remainder zero. Have you ever tried table of zero? Actually, zero divided by zero, zero 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 one by zero two zero 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 three by zero. It means zero divided by zero is not certain. It may be any number, and when this happens, we say such number are called. indefinite indefinite zero divided by zero is a single thing in which you are not sure what will be the number maybe one maybe two maybe four whatsoever it may be so here m to power zero means it is one so uh, we say dimensions of volume are zero in mass three in length zero in time so dimension of volume are zero in mass three in length zero in time zero in ampere current and zero in kelvin and zero in candela etc i mean now uh, density density is equal to mass upon volume mass upon volume so mass fundamentally m and 
Now here we have been L2. So dimensional formula. If you are asked, write dimensions of volume. Then you can say dimensions of volume are zero in mass, three in length, zero in time. But when you are asked to write dimensional formula, then you have to put all the three things. Square bracket it is m l minus three t zero. This is the dimensional formula for density. And please start writing both both sides of the equation. And try to see both sides of the equation. Students are in the habit of telling things very short, and that way they don't read or don't see both sides. You know, when we say, okay, we what is the time period of formula? Suppose, time period, uh, time period of, of the simple pendulum. The formula is 2 pi under root L upon G. So, when you don't speak T, they say 2 pi under root L upon G. Okay, 2 pi into, under root L by G. But what is that? That should be spoken. Okay, T, T is equal to. So, please speak both the sides when you are asked. So this is the basic definition of dimensions and how to write dimension. In next video, I will be telling you few dimensions, but different in your books, dimensional formulae, four different quantities are there. They are not learned till you write and decide them. So in next video, I will write some more uh, dimensional formulae so that you become habitual how to derive them. Thank you.